Happy Monday, everybody. It's that time again. Yours truly, Ray, here. Got a nice total body fit workout planned for today. As far as equipment, you're going to need a kettlebell as an order today, and then for the second circuit, a mat and a medicine ball. Um, five movements in the first circuit, and then we'll have four movements with the medicine ball in the second circuit. Hope you guys all had a good weekend. You guys might be happy to know that I embarrassed myself at the driving range going there for the first time in probably five years. Never went to a range that had the heater overhead and the overhang. Well, guess who hit the roof and then hit themselves in the head off a ricochet? This guy right here. So, um, the rest of the people with me probably just about had a heart attack laughing at me, so at least they had some fun with that. But, uh, Definitely might have to uh, move a little further out from the overhang next time we do that. Uh, without further ado, let's just warm up and go through today's workout and we'll see where we are when the dust settles. Uh, let's just start off with some scarecrows. So we just want to wave at the camera here, pinch the shoulder blades together. And next one, we're just going to press up, reaching up, and then pull the shoulders down and back the shoulder blades together, press up, down and back. Just keep going back and forth. Next one, we're just going to bring the elbows together, shoulder blades are going to spread apart, then pinch the shoulder blades back together, back and forth. So I had a few people in work conditioning today here at Pilgrim tell me I look really tired and all they can see is my eyes because of the mask. Um, that's, that's concerning, <laughs> arm circles. I mean, I look tired as it is anyway on any normal day, but today I guess I look worse than normal. So you guys can be the judge watching the video today. Uh, reverse go the other way. And what we want to do is hinge at our hips, slight knee bend, drive the hips back. Um, thumbs are going to point out, and then they'll finish straight up. Pinch the shoulder blades. We want to feel the upper back, the rear delts, and we want to feel our hamstrings here when we're doing this one. So again, I'll show you from the side, nice and flat on that lower spine, reaching out. Then we'll go out in front. one, hands on the hips. Uh, I want you guys to stand outside your hips. And I just want you to lean, hold, shift your weight, hold, just going back and forth. It's okay to have a little forward lean here. Just going back and forth. Good. Next one we're going to do is a squat. Toes are going to point slightly out I'm just outside my hips with my stance. Hands out in front. We'll be doing some of these today. Then hands on the hips, and we're going to alternate on a step back lunge. So step back, step up, and switch. Alternating back and forth. say that I've never been hit in the head with a golf ball until this weekend. Luckily off a ricochet, so I didn't really get hurt. Tough noggin, right? Good. The last one we're going to do is roll through the stretch. So step forward with one leg, slight knee bend, reach up, sweep through, tuck the shoulders down and back, then we'll reach to the floor, back the foot up, Opposite arm and leg will stay down. We'll open up. Then we'll 
We'll reach through, going in front of the leg, behind the arm. Both hands down, you shift our weight back, or you come on the leg and shift your weight back. And step in. Let's repeat on the other side. Stepping forward, about hip distance here. Sweep the arms up, and we'll pull through. And let's reach down. Opposite arm and leg stay down. We open it up. We reach through. Hands down, we rock back. Rest on the quad. Feel that hamstring get a nice stretch. And we should be ready to go. So today, kettlebell, I'm grabbing what I would consider lightweight just to warm up and go through this first circuit. What I'm going to do is an offset squat. So a couple ways you can do that. We can go in a rack position where I'm holding right on my outer part of my bicep and on the back of the wrist. My off hand has no weight. I'm going to put it out for counterweight and we would squat. If this isn't comfortable, let it hang down on the side. And then we're just gonna squat this way. You can pick which one you're gonna do. We're gonna start with that, we're just gonna do five on each side. So I'm gonna bring it up, arm out, and five reps. If you don't have any equipment, or if you have a dumbbell, you can do the same thing with a dumbbell, that's fine. Good, and then we're gonna switch, other side. So I'll show the other version, just a suitcase hold. Same thing, squatting down. Good, so I did my five on each side. Number two is a hand clean. So this one can be a little tricky. I recommend starting with a lighter weight, but I'm gonna do like that RDL, that good morning we did, a little hip hinge. Then think of bringing a zipper up on your jacket. Zipper up, catch on the other part of the arm. So hinge, zipper, hold it. So that's the hang clean. Here we go. Zipper, hold it. The kettlebell stays in a linear path, straight up. Doesn't go way out in front. Let's do three more of those. Hinge, the zipper, we catch it. Good. I'll do the same thing on the other side then. Same thing. Hinge, zipper. Four. And five. Good. Number three. We're just going to do a push press. So again, this first time through is supposed to be light. We're just warming up the muscles. I'm going to go on the back here. Again, if you have a dumbbell, that, that works fine. Push press, partial knee bend. I'm going to use some momentum for my lower body. Push and lock it out. I bring it all the way down. Then I start my next one. Three. Four. Five, and then we switch it over. Same thing over on the other side. Two, three, four, five, and down. Good. Next one, we're going to do an offset reverse lunge. This can be a lot like the squat. You can hold on one side, down by the hip. You're going to step back with the same side you're holding on. So it would be here, step up. Or come up to that rack position, step back. Let's do three more. Three, two, one. Good. I'll go suitcase on the other side. gets tricky. We're going to combine some of these together, do a little complex. So, 
We're going to go hand clean, then we're going to squat, then we're going to do a push press. So let's start with what I would call my dominant side, my right side for this one. You'll see left in the camera. We'll go through it nice and easy here. It'll be the hang clean, zipper, catch, just like the zipper on the coat, catch it. Full squat, partial squat press, bring it down, bring it down. That's one. So we're combining some of these together. This will get your heart rate up, I promise. So let's do five on our strong side. So let's do it together here. We're gonna hinge, hang clean. We got it racked. We're gonna squat, come up, push press, bring it down, bring it down, go again. Hang clean, squat, push press, bring it down, reset, going again. And you can go as fast or as slow as you want with these. One. Good, I'm gonna go to the other side here. You'll hear it hit my watch, hopefully I don't bust it. Here we go, so hang clean, squat, push press, reload. Go right into the next one. Here we go, clean it, squat it, push press it, Break it down, recoil. Jack that one up. Let's go one more. One more here. Hang clean. Squat. Push press. Reload and recover. Good. So that's the whole circuit. We're going to go through it a couple more times. Weight, it's completely up to you. You want to be able to get at least five reps with good form. You don't want to go too heavy where we lose balance because we're doing a lot of unilateral work or with the lunge. Then when we're squatting, we only have a load on one side. When we're pressing, we only have the load on one side. So I recommend using less weight than if you have weight on both sides. I'm going to go ramp it up a little bit for this second set. We'll see how it goes. So make sure you have a dumbbell, a kettlebell. If you just have yourself, just have your body weight, we can make that work. I'm gonna get a little water here. <clears throat> so I always recommend starting off lighter weight, doing what I call a warm up set or a ramp up set. So we're working up to our working weight. Reason we do that, you don't want to start with maximum effort without being warmed up, without having your muscles ready to go, without having your nervous system ready to go to recruit those muscle fibers. So we'll see if uh, this works out a little better here. Adding some weight, probably going up about 15 pounds here. You guys do what you want. First one, we want to do our squat. So I'm going to go with my rack position, offset, hand out, five reps. So one, two, three, Four, five, I'm gonna bring it down. I'll go suitcase on the other side. Arms still gonna go out. One, two, three, four, and five. Good, so that's our first one. Hand clean, five per, per side. I'm gonna take my watch off so I don't destroy it. So that hang clean, hip hinge, straight from the side, little hinge, that's where, as we get heavier, that's where some of the power has to come from, we're not just arming this. Hinge, zipper, one, two, three, four, and five, switch it over. One. Two, three, four, and five. So, not too bad. Didn't, didn't have a watch on there, so I didn't, you know, break that. That's kind of an expensive item I don't want to ruin. 
Um, single arm push press. So we'll switch back to the other side. Again, you can do this with a dumbbell. Partial, like maybe a quarter squat at most. One, bring it down. Two, three, four, five. Switch it over. Rack it up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Good. So we got a push press down there. Next one's reverse lunge. You can go rack position or suitcase position. Whichever leg goes back, that's going to be the leg that's on the same side as we're holding the weight. So if I'm holding with my right hand, I'm stepping back with my right leg. Five on each leg. So one, two, three, four, five. Transition. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to take a little time to recover before I do this next one. Before we add some together. So remember, it is going to be hand clean, full squat, push press, reload. Five on each side. Here we go. Here we go. So we're going to clean it, squat, push press, reload. switch and go right away if you're feeling good if you need a little recovery take a recovery we want good technique on these let's see how coordinated the left side can be here hinge clean it squat it push press reload here we go there's your clean there's your squat push press reload Let's do it again. A little better. And sit it down. So you'll notice if you're doing these with me, and we're doing them later, your dominant side is probably going to have a little more coordination, especially with the hang clean. The not dominant side is a little tricky. So if you notice there, I wasn't quite as good with my hang clean with the catch. Got to work both sides, got to practice both sides. Take a little breather. We're going to go through that circuit one more time. If you're feeling really good, we can ramp it up. I suppose I should uh, take my own advice here. Why not? Why not, right? Now, where you were at with weight, you were challenged, and the form was starting to get a little shaky. Maybe you gotta go down a weight or just stay with that same weight now that you're, you're getting used to these movements. Let's go through it again here. I'm gonna pick up my kettlebell. So as I get heavier, I gotta hand clean to get this into my rack position. And now I'm gonna squat, arm out. Hips back, chest up. One, two, three, four, and five. There we go. That's a little better, right? Five on the other side. One, 
two, three, four, and five. Whew. A little tougher. Now we got the hand cleans, five per side. Hinge, zipper. As you'll notice, I got to use my legs more, as you should when it gets heavier. There's my five, I'll switch it over. Hinge, explode, catch it. position or suitcase. Whichever side you're holding on, that's the leg that goes back. Remember, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Transition. One, two, three, four, and five. Grab water if you need it, we'll get that last one in. Feeling it. These are good. It's a good workout where you don't need a lot of space. You wouldn't necessarily need a lot of equipment. Efficient. I'm working on total body strength. I'm working on my conditioning depending on how fast I go through it, how much time I spend to recover. Today I didn't set a time limit, we're just going for reps, trying to get our five reps in. So if you remember, our complex here is hand clean, full squat, push press, recover. Let's go through it here. Full squat, push press, let's go again. circuit coming up next. Not too bad with the kettlebells. Shoulders are definitely going to feel that tomorrow.
Grab a little water, towel off. If you have a medicine ball, now's the time to get it. Take it through the second circuit. Chops, left shoulder to right hip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switching. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Get the cover. Sweat's flowing now. Heart rate's up. So you can go through it as fast as you want. We gotta do it twice more. If you're ready to go, Go right through it again. I'm going to take about eh, another 30 seconds. I want my heart rate to get back down around 115. And then we're just going to go through it as quick as we can. 
Real important when we are doing, when we're standing, doing rotational movements, that we get our hips to turn, which is why I'm showing the pivot here. That takes stress off your lower back and lumbar spine. We get the hips to turn with the torso, not just the torso turning and putting all that torque on your lower back. Think of something you're doing with recreational that's rotational. Let's take golf as, as an example. Getting the hips to turn. Tennis, same thing. You want to coil and use your hips. Boxing, when I show you guys boxing, throwing across, there's some hip turn. Throwing a hook, there's a hip turn. You can't just stay stationary with your, with your uh, hips and legs. We know good for the back. All right, we're going to go through it again. I bought myself enough time there. I'm going to switch which leg I had forward for that half kneeling side to side slam. Here we go. Ten. Turn, come up, in the middle. Chops, shoulder to hip, and pivot. One, two, three, four. Switch it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two down, one to go. Hey, what's up, cuz? Hope your Sunday was good. No concussion protocol from the, uh, the golfing incident. That was pretty funny though, I gotta admit. Seeing the look on your face was, and the laughter was priceless, that's for sure. I thought if anything was gonna happen, it was gonna be Kimmy or Nina hitting the roof, not me. Golf karma. time through this. You can choose which leg you want forward for the half kneeling slam. I'm going to go left leg forward. So since I'm not on my feet here and I can't pivot, I'm really limiting how much my torso is moving. Here my torso is a little more stationary and it's more my arms just doing the work and trying to stay stable versus when we're standing there's more hip rotation involved, so we get the hips turning, we get the feet to help with the pivot. So here, we want a little more control. All right, here we go. 10 total. For the most part, my hips are staying pretty squared up with you guys on the screen. Okay, come up right away, chest passes as fast as you can. slams. Two more. Other side. Last one. Next chops. This 
switch it. Almost there, you guys. stuff today everybody oh so a little different today no boxing no kickboxing we did a nice kettlebell circuit with a complex in there circuit two is a med, med ball hit circuit simple to do can do it anywhere try two three rounds of what we did today you'll feel it you'll feel it um, I'm gonna take you guys through a few stretches to finish up then I'm out of here. <laughs> uh, all you need is a mat. I'm gonna turn it so it's horizontal. I'm just gonna have a seat here. I'm gonna lean back on my hands, bend my knees. I want my knees wider than my hips. And I'm gonna do some hip rotation here, some internal and external hip rotation. So, I'm going to let both my knees roll to one side, knees moving in towards the heel, just hold whichever way the hips are going, that's where I, where I want your torso to face, and then without flexing your lower back, just start leaning forward a little bit, my lower back is still flat, my upper back not so much, but you want to start to feel that outer hip glute area, okay, let's go to the other side. Knee in towards the heel. Um, if your hip, hips are kind of sticking tight, don't force them down in this position. If you get stuck here, you just hold it there and just maybe work back and forth. Nice and easy. Maybe you get a little further each time. Again, um, chest is going the direction where the hips are rolling, keeping my lumbar spine from moving. So I put my hand back here so I can feel it. Start to get that outer hip glute area. Straighten it up. So I'll show you some uh, mobility flow that builds out of this. So it's the hip roll, I come up on the knees, which normally like if you're on mats or carpet, it's gonna feel a lot better than just on the wood floor here. Then we're gonna go here. I'm gonna roll to the other side. I'm gonna come up. Driving my hips forward, tucking my shoulders down and back. And we'll just keep building on this chain. I'll show you a few more that you can add in. So we'll roll back to the other side. So I'm up. Then I step forward with my back leg. Come on off camera a little bit. I'm leaning forward to stretch out the hip flexor. And I'm going to bring my knee back down to earth. Go back to the other side, same thing. So I'm going to roll it. Back leg steps forward, lean, hip flexor, and then and there's all different things you can do from this. I like doing some of these for a warm up and for a cool down. Just to show you um, from this half kneeling position, I can transition to a toes out squat. And then go back down, knee back down, do the hip roll, and repeat on the other side. So it's a nice mobility flow, really gets the hips warmed up. Also great for a cool down. I like the warm up one because it also gets your heart rate up. Uh, next thing I want you to hands back behind you. We're back in our starting position. Tuck your shoulders down and back. So we're kind of sticking the chest out. So this is just a thoracic bridge, or it's gonna be a standard bridge to start. Push into your heels, drive your hips up, Coming up. So I'm a little limited because of my shoulder mobility. What I'm going to do is just go back and forth, hips down, hips up. Five of those. And if you really got a strong shoulder, you can handle this. You reach over, you really drive the hips up for that thoracic extension. Or you just go right and have a seat. We'll go back up. I'll turn, I'll drive my hips up, and have a seat. Feet together, 
Pull the heels in, lean forward with the chest, and hold. And that's it. Oh, well, hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you didn't do it live, try it later. You can also find them on our YouTube channel if you prefer that over Facebook. We do post these all to our YouTube channel, our HD Fitness Trainers. Whew, I guess I do look tired today, man. Oh, Alex, thanks for joining in, buddy. I'll talk to you later. Take care, everyone.